what's up y'all it's your girl jk and i'm back with another video um this is this video is for the people who already got their permit or already watched my how to get your permit video and if you haven't watched that go watch that video i'll put the link down in the description that video is really helpful and that video is it's going up there so a lot of people find it helpful so if you haven't got your permit already go to that video and watch that video then once you're in the process of actually getting your license come back to this video or you can watch it now for you can already know what to expect what to practice on now that's good stuff so yeah you, i'm about to tell y'all how to pass your driving test on the first try like i did and i got an excellent score at least that's what the lady told me she said you did excellent you was one of the best people i drove with you did better than some adults i'll be um testing so yeah i'm about to let you know how to do what i did get a perfect score pass on the first try and turn that permit into a license so yeah let's get it okay you guys the first step to passing your test is practice before you even get to the test you need to practice and i'm talking about practice you guys so you can so the lady you that's doing you are the man who testing you they think you're an expert they know you've been practicing so the first step, once you get your permit, you need to practice, 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 practice before you go and take the behind the wheel test. That's what's really going to determine if you pass or fail. Practice is what's going to determine if you pass or fail. If you don't practice, more likely you're going to fail because there's going to be a lot of things that you miss out on the road that they're looking. Because they're going to be looking. They're going to be looking at you like, hmm, is she driving with both feet? Hmm, is she looking? Hmm, is she stopping correctly? You know? So you want to practice so when you get to the actual test, you can be like a expert, a little expert, a little pro. Yeah, so that's the main thing. And you guys, after you practice and you're ready to go set an appointment to get that license. All right, so after you practice and you're ready to set an appointment to get your license, I'm about to tell you what to do. But y'all, do not mind my nails throughout this video. I know they look ratchet. I have to bite them off. But that's beside the point. Let's get to it. Okay, y'all. First of all, before you even start the test, before your instructor start the test for you, they're going to check your blinkers, all your blinkers in the car. That's all they really check. When I was getting ready to do my license, I was looking up a whole lot of different things that I thought they were going to do that they didn't even do. But the main thing they checked was the blinker that she got in the car. That's really it. She checked the blinker she got in the car. And you have to make sure that you have insurance on the car. So, yeah. And then once you I, once you know your blink is working, baby, you're ready to go. The first thing you should know when taking your test to pass your test is you should know how to accelerate your vehicle, first of all. You should know how to accelerate your vehicle. And I'm not talking about just going. You got to know how to ease and accelerate, not, ooh, let's hurry up and go. You know, you got to ease and accelerate. You got to know how to do that because if you just freaking push that gas baby you fail they said they already looking like oh no she done with no 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 she done so yeah you gotta know how to accelerate and you gotta know how to break and i'm not like i said you can't be jerk break you gotta ease break which means you need to be pushing on the gas don't push on the gas my bad you need to be pushing on the brake ahead of time before you know it's time for you to stop so yeah those are the first two things that's going to really determine pass or fail because once you do one of those wrong you fail so yeah you need to know how to accelerate and break correctly correctly okay so get to practice if you haven't <laughs> but yeah y'all yeah. okay the next thing is you need to know how to turn correctly and what and by turn correctly i mean turning in your first lane if you turn in your second lane they're just already gonna be like Hmm, you're going to be Spongebob up in this boy because you're going to keep failing and failing and failing your test over the mistakes, you know? So you want to turn in the first lane, first of all. Once you accelerate, you know how to accelerate, break, and turn, you 50% pass your test already. So you want to know how to accelerate, break, turn. Uh, I wouldn't say, a lot of people say you want to know how to parallel park, but when I took my test, I practiced parallel parking one day before my test, and I did okay. And it wasn't a big, I wouldn't say a big chunk of the actual grading. 
it's a little chunk. You can still, you can fail the parallel and still pass your test. You know, but I didn't fail my parallel. I didn't. I was too far from the curve, but I got the inside. So, yeah, you need to practice parallel parking. Although it's not a big chunk, you should still know how to do it. Because once, if you do know, that's another chunk of you passing your test. So, yeah. Parallel parking, turning, braking, accelerating. And you want to know how to switch lanes with your blinker, your left, your right. And one thing they... What the heck was that? One thing they're going to be looking for is if you are being observant. I said observant. <laughs> they're going to look for make sure you're being observant, which means when you turn the lanes, you look over it. You look to the side before you switch to that lane. Same with the other side behind you a little bit to the side, mirrors, all that. You got to look before you turn. So that's a big thing they're going to be looking at if, if you're being observant. And then, what else I can say? Because, like, people make it bigger than what it really is that they looking for. They look and make sure you accelerate, brake, turn, switch lanes correctly. Oh, yeah. This is another thing that could really help you guys pass your test that helped me, that my instructor was very surprised that I did, and she really loved that I did that, which is when you stop behind the stop sign, you stop behind the actual stop sign line you know what i'm talking about like the stop sign you stop behind the actual stop sign then you screw up and stop at the stop sign so my instructor really liked that she said she said she's very surprised that i did that and she loved that you know so yeah you can do that too stop behind the actual stop sign and stop at the stop sign that just gonna make you seem professional like you really care about what's on the road you know get your pass and then once you stop at the stop sign that's when you look left right there you go so yeah so yeah you guys you don't want to um take in those bad habits you see other drivers doing like rolling the stop signs barely stopping you know you want to actually stop you don't want to do things like i guess you see people just switching lanes and stuff you don't want to do that you want to actually check your blind spots check behind you that's what's gonna really be the line of you passing the feeling it's not taking in those bad habits you see others taking you want to actually practice the good habits so when you take a test you can do those good habits you know but yeah and one thing i was about to forget to mention is you want to get a lot of sleep the night before i know you're nervous look at my hair please don't mind me sorry i got off topic quick i'm sorry but you want to get a lot of sleep because once you, when you get a lot of sleep, your body is your body reacts to things faster. Your body function better on the road. If you get a lot of sleep, you're gonna be able to stop correctly, accelerate correctly, look at things like people crossing the road. You're gonna be able to observe better if your body get a lot of sleep. You're gonna be able to function better. Your body gonna react better to things on the road if you get a lot of sleep. So don't forget that. Get a lot of sleep. I almost forgot to mention it. But get a lot of sleep. I know you're nervous. You want to stay up. You finna take a test. Or you're getting ready to take your driving test and you just want to stay up. You're nervous? No. Go to sleep. You might be go to sleep nervous, shoe. Just make sure you go to sleep. Okay, you guys. Yeah. Another thing is to be prepared for any weather, especially if you know your state like i'm in texas you never know it might be sunny and it might end up raining so be prepared for any weather and also i almost forgot to mention it because of course maybe everybody who watched is not in texas or not in my area and might not get the same instructor as me so you some people do need to know where their heater their air conditioner their windshield wipers and also your um headlights yes you need to know where your headlights is for sure for sure for sure because you don't know what time you're going to take your test and like daylight saving now nah, is it called daylight saving hmm. yeah when it get dark early you never know if you're taking your test at five o'clock and it'll be dark already so of course you need to know where your um headlights is i almost forgot about that see and some people do need to know where their um defrost is at so make sure you know um all about the car that you're driving where everything is at boy i look a mess but you guys you also want to know your right away Yes, that's very important, especially if you are on a, let's say, you pull up to a stop sign, and it's also another stop sign that somebody else pulling up to. You need to know who goes first and who waits, you know? 
y'all pull up the same time that's called the right away if i pull up on this side and we both stop at the same time if somebody's to my right they pull up the same time as me the person to the right goes first so that's called the right away you need to know that just in case you're going to start to take you somewhere like that and that situation happens you need to know you're right away and if you don't if you try to go at the same time as they supposed to go and they know that which who got the right away and y'all end up about to crash i'm sure you're gonna fail so yeah you want to know the right way another thing is that i should have mentioned in the beginning of the video when you get in the car you want to make sure your seat is adjusted where you feel comfortable and your hands should be at nine and three if i'm not mistaken but I didn't really pay attention to where my hands were at, but I'm thinking the correct answer is really probably nine and three. And you want to make sure your feet can touch the gas and the brakes comfortably without your um, knees bending. Your knees shouldn't be bent up, none of that. So you want to make sure you're comfortable because that's going to really um, determine how well you drive as the driver of the car. If you're not comfortable, most likely you're not going to drive good. So make sure you see just the way you feel comfortable it can be in a good posture also here's something that i think i forgot to do i think i kind of did it but i didn't i don't remember but i think i actually forgot to do this you want to check your mirrors your top mirrors and stuff and adjust your mirrors when the instructor comes in the car so they can see that you so they can see that you um are adjusting your mirrors and stuff you want to make sure you're doing that in the car even if it's um already adjusted to your eye view you want to still you know a little tweet 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 look look you know still do it just so they know that you're doing it you know what you're doing you're prepared they're ready to go so yeah still checking mirrors and stuff i actually think i forgot to like do this when my mirror was done stretches in the car but i don't think she paid too much attention to that thank the lord but yeah, you want to make sure you do it because you don't know if your instructor is going to actually pay close, 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 close attention to you. So yeah, and yeah. Don't skip a beat. Although my instructor gave me a perfect score, she said I did great. Uh, she told me that I need to. She actually told me I told y'all you need to be more observant because apparently, you know, when you guys drive, you want to look over frequently. Like I say, every I don't know. But you want to look over frequently. Not even if you're going straight, you want to still look over a little bit. Just so your driver know that you're being observant. Yeah, you want to do that. Okay, let's get to some mistakes to avoid. I think I already mentioned these in the beginning, but I'm going to still repeat them just so you know. You want to avoid slamming on the brakes. You want to avoid pushing the gas too hard. You want to you want to avoid... Um, even if you don't feel like you push it on your brakes hard, you want to avoid that feeling of that sudden stop. Even if sometimes I know, sometimes I'll be pushing on my brakes south, but when it's actually time to stop, you push a little harder and you get that jerk feeling. You don't want to do that, especially when you're instructed in the car. So you want to avoid doing that. You want to avoid not looking in your mirrors when switching lanes. You want to avoid not being observant. You want to avoid not stopping behind the stop sign behind the line. Even if you don't do the two stops that I said, you still need to stop behind the line of the stop sign and the lines of the red lights. So you want to avoid not doing that. You want to avoid passing over that because I don't know how your instructor may feel about that, but don't do it. <laughs> okay. And you guys also want to avoid getting distracted, of course. That's the biggest thing you want to avoid. I know some people get distracted easily. I think I get distracted easily, but usually on the road, I don't really get distracted easily. But, like, doing this video, I keep getting distracted. So, yeah. You want to avoid getting distracted easily on the road because that could really, really, really cause you to fail. Because if the instructor see that you're distracted and something... A car hair up to get in front of you or something you want to be able to show your instructor oh i'm finna stop because this car just jumped in front of me you know i'm finna slow down if not you still driving because you're not looking you know so that's the biggest thing to avoid but i think i covered everything that i know to do to pass your test 
and get a great score like me. I think I covered all the things that I know to them. And I really hope this video helps you guys. Because as y'all see, I'm a normal old me. And I got a perfect score. I got my freaking license. I had got my permit like a year ago. It was a year, January 2nd, 2021. And I got my license. When did I get my license? January, February, March, April, May, June, July 13th, 2020. I haven't had my license for a year yet. So as I can see, I'm still a new driver. But I just wanted to share with y'all, which is, was highly requested because I did the how to get your permit. And I did the video of me getting my license. So a lot of people wanted to know how did I pass my test and all that. So here you guys go. I really hope y'all enjoyed it. And if you haven't already, like this video, comment. Any questions you still have, I will answer for you. And subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe to your girl channel and go view my other videos. I really appreciate that. And I will get back to y'all when y'all comment down below as quick as I can. And stay tuned for any more videos.